Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video of our DTF Masterclass program. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how we're going to do an initial fill on one of these printers. So for starters, you're going to have to know that an initial fill will cause you to use a lot of ink. It flushes out old ink or it flushes out ink that has been clogged onto the little tubes. Uh, an initial fill will really help you out when it comes to the printing process. So I'm going to show you right now how we do that. So here we have a printer that's off. So that's the, the first step, make sure that the printer is off so you can do the initial fill. So we're gonna press four keys in this panel in order to open up a different menu that we're used to once we turn on the printer. We're gonna hold the power button and then we're gonna also hold down the okay and the right. So that's what we're gonna do right now. First you're gonna hold these three press it down and then you're going to press the power button and it's going to turn on and there you go once the whole printer is on and set up you're going to have to click the right side and you will notice that there are more options there than what there is when we actually do it so we're going to go all the way down to cleaning and then you see the fourth one is initial fill. Get a better look at that. And there you go. You're gonna run the initial fill. And again, I also recommend you guys to check the maintenance tank first. If it's full, empty it out, reset the maintenance tank and put it back into the printer. Once it's done, just go back and you turn off the printer like normal. And then once it's completely off, you could turn it back on. So now that we have all of that set up, stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna be showing you how to run a, a, a cleaning solution in order for you to get a better understanding of what else you could do when it comes to the initial fill and what you have to do in order to use the initial fill as well. So th that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the previous videos and I hope you guys were informed as well. Stay tuned for upcoming videos so you can also become a DTF printing master. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.